Hi, can you um, can you tell me your name? And, I'm uh, Raymond Benton from Ghana. Okay, and what are you doing here this year? I'm here to present a project that represented in a village by name of him in the central region of Ghana. Okay, and you won the last year the, the or yeah. were you a finalist in the Stockholm yeah, Junior Water Prize? Yes, I was a finalist in the Stockholm Junior Water Prize 2010. For a water filter? Yes. And we designed a filtration system to treat water for community. And we gained sponsorship from ITT, Black and Beach Water for People, to implement our project this year. Oh, great. So, and what's your name? Yeah, I'm Bruno Akimidi Sandres from Ghana. Okay, great. And you're here also for this, this project. Can you tell me a little bit what, what you guys did in the last year yes. with this sponsorship? Yes, um, last year, when we got a sponsorship, we went back home and we did some lab work and we were able to improve on our design using some basic materials found in the community, sand, charcoal and some gravels and we were able to make the system to purify water. Okay, and did you work directly with the community or did you focus more on the technology? Yes, and we other worked with the community, everything we did. For example, they provided the labor, sometimes they didn't have the skilled labor, so we had to get it outside the community. But you know, we worked with the community to implement the project. Okay, and what were some of your experiences or, I mean, that you would want to share for others who have similar ideas? I mean, how, how, how do you work with the community? And yeah. Mostly it's very difficult because most of them won't actually get what you are doing until they see the results. So I think it's always best to make sure that the community understands what you are doing and in that case I think everything will be easier. So what are some examples of challenges you can face? Or, yeah. or okay, well, you, you know, know, I mean, yes. the what? community we worked in is according to their traditions after 6 o'clock you are not supposed to work in that community. So while we wanted everything to speed up and work fast in such a community, you have to stop everything at 6 and come back the next day. But we had to cope with it. And some of the people will also come to you, ask you lots of questions about what you are doing. In fact, it was a very nice experience, but somehow challenging. Great. And uh, Raymond, what, what, what would you say are you know, your next steps? Well, um, we are actually thinking of um, um, implementing or adding the ozone filtration to make our project more, more feasible with the community. And one thing I also like to say, like when one is embarking on a journey of purifying water for people, the person should never stop or relent in achieving that goal because water really is life, and one must make sure he achieves or achieves the goal he has set to help the people. So one like last quick question: Can you just give uh, the people watching this video an idea of what kind of community it was? I mean, how big was the community? Was it oh. a village? Was it a town? Yeah, it's a rural area uh, with a population of about 500 people and um, mainly uh, they practice subsistence farming, yes, and um, the, quite, the community is quite reserved, they have just a school, um, their latrines are very in a deplorable state, there's no health facility in that community, so they have to travel about five miles to other places to get health services. So. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you one more question because I think, uh, well, it's interesting that you say ozone filtration might yeah. be the, the, the next step because it's a, it's a relatively small community and, and you're, you're basically, you were tried out all these local materials first. So what, what made you change your mind to ozone filtration? Yes, um, our system is effective to a point and then um, our colleagues from um, ne um, Netherlands, they are developing the ozone system. And with that, we are hoping to actually get a certain quality of water, which is not only accepted by Ghana, but accepted everywhere. But for now, what we have is accepted in Ghana, but we think we can still make it more pure when we use the ozone system. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, both of you, and uh, have a good World Water Week.